Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 10 of Skyrim on the Xbox Series X. We are exactly where we were at the end of part 9, however, I did forward time and just get rid of all my stuffs in the trader. I have noticed that I've got a lot of potions. <laughs> they, they, they end up weighing you down a bit because they're 0.5 each. I mean, all the minor healings and stuff, minor staminas, I mean, we could do with just storing them in a chest for now. Ha and on the subject of a chest... We are now able to buy our house because we have 5,000 gold, finally. So, we have this quest to finish, but... I'm trying to recall <laughs> now <clears throat> where it was that I put my dragon bones the last time. We don't have to go and get them now, but... I felt like it was Riverwood, but now I'm not so sure. Yeah, it could have been Everstead. It's wherever we... Yeah, I think it was Everstead, wasn't it? <clears throat> so, we can dive back there and get our bones at some point. However, we're going to dive to Whiterun and get our hoose. Uh... Actually, let's just remind myself if it was Everstead. We are carrying on with uh, the quest of Jürgen Windcaller's horn. No, uh, thank you. We were supposed to get the horn of a Jürgen Windcaller. Now that I'm here, I'm thinking this isn't the place. Where the hell was it? Where the ghost kid was and all that. Yes, it wasn't in this place. Lost me bearings, people. It has been the best part of a week since I played the last part, so this is why my memory has now gone completely. I once was sweet on a girl from Helgen. Morthal? Yes, that's exactly where it was, Stephen. It's a good job these loading screens are super quick, isn't it? And... We have a key to the house, don't we, where we... Well, it was the vampire's house. Alva. I trust you're not Morthal is a troubled place. It's my Whoa. To see it rest in peace. The hell? How did he get in here? And who's this guy? You want to oh, that's Hro guy. He's still alive, isn't he? After everything you've done. Thank you for saving me from Alva. I was completely under her evil spell. I know. I forgive myself for what happened to Helgi and my wife. Okay. Well, I need my stuff back from the chest, dude. But it is mine. You can have the bow as a treat. Not that we need the ingots either, but you know. Right, let's be on with it. Let's get to White Run. And then once we've got the house, uh, we will go and finish off the horn of the horn of Jürgen Winkoller. I mean, I could do this sort of stuff off camera, but where's the fun in that, people? Tell me. Hang on. Yeah, I thought you could go straight to Dragon's Reach. I have to run all the way back up. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. A <laughs> I... where's your Where is he? Bloody typical, isn't it? 
He sometimes sat there. And he sometimes stood there. <laughs> and where is he the rest of the time? Hello, we get. Eh? Would like a house, please? Ah, there he is. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. I'd like to buy a house, please. Splendid. There's a house available right now. I'll take it. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. I'd like to decorate my home, please. I'll be glad to help you. There are many ways to improve your home, provided you have the coin. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. Now, what would you like to purchase? Well, I was thinking about a bedroom. No, I wasn't. What was I thinking about? Dining room, living room, kitchen. Yeah, I think we'll go with living room first. Living room furnishings, please. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? I think I would like the... Dining room decorations, please. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Well, now you mention it. <laughs> Do we want a loft decorations? A kitchen... Well, I'm doing downstairs, basically, is what I'm doing at the minute. Kitchen furnishings, please. Have we got enough? Very well. I'll make the arrangements. I think that's probably next the last of my you coin. Your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? I don't think I have the money for it, my friend. Well, we've got 400 gold left. But uh, let's have a look at what's there. I'd like to decorate my home, please. Glad to help you. There are many ways to improve. And of course, don't... Now, what would you like to purchase? Well, we could do the loft, and that'll leave us a couple hundred, I suppose. Or we could do the, be let's do the bedroom, shall we? Yeah. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. That's lovely, is that there is. anything else you'd like to purchase? Uh, not right now, because I don't have any coin. That all said, is there anything that I can sell to... Oh. Oh, there he is. So you come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities? Of hostilities, no, I've not. The great warriors. Ongoing hostilities. Take a look. Yes, I don't have anything that of any... Oh, hello. Yes, maybe. Petty Soul Gem. Oh, they're filled. Yeah, yeah I don't have anything of any great worth, do I? We'll keep the filled ones, I think, for now. Well, it's got us back up to 400. No, oh, the white, the white run home decorating guide. Right, okay, that'll uh, that'll need to do. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you has he got? The mages oh, he's wandered off again, hasn't he? Oh, no, there he is. Standing around is rubbish. We should be. <laughs> All is standing around is rubbish. Very busy. I'll be glad to help. And of course, now, what would you like to purchase? Well, I think I'll go for dining room decorations, please. I'm sorry, but you don't seem to have enough gold to pay for that. How do I not? Is there sorry. Anything else purchase? <laughs> I must have been looking at Farangir's gold and not mine. Right, well, I'm off then, if you can't do any more for me. Right, let's go and put our bits and bobs in the house. Ow. Uh, oh. <laughs> Too busy looking at the beautiful mountains and got myself in the drink.
And... Breeze home. <clears throat> Brilliant. Now we can store all our stuff in here. That said, I was expecting a big chest. Is it upstairs? It is. Right, let's get rid of everything we don't need for now. That's all fine. Potions we can get rid of some of. We'll get rid of that for now. And that. And those. Keep that. Hey. Yeah, I think I'll dump those for now. Oh. <laughs> you know, I think I've been drinking those and not storing them, people. Jesus Christ, Steve. Did we get a... <laughs> Somebody save me from myself. Did we get a save when we went into Bree's home there? Yes, we did. <laughs> well, you know, there wasn't even an A option on the screen. Try that again. Potion of minor healing. Potion of minor magic. I don't tend to use the magic ones, do I too much, but... Every now and then. Potion of minor stamina. Never use those. Could have sold them, actually. Right, that's lightened the burden. And we want miscellaneous. This will definitely lighten the burden. Dragon bones. What? Got flawless gems and garnets and all sorts in here to get rid of people. Well, I think what we'll do is... What's Lydia? I don't think she's got anything that I left with her. I am at your command. <clears throat> she's got a great sword. I've left her with the other sword as well. Orcish arrows. Steel armor. She never put that on. I'm going to take that. I'm going to try and refine it. And this flame... Uh, Staff of Flames has been used. I don't know whether it was her that used it. You lead, I'll follow. Yeah, well, move out of the way then. Oh my lord. Lydia. The fuck. Just a bit of housekeeping, people. We'll be on with the action shortly. for sale, my friend. It's about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any. Everything's. Some may call this junk. Me. Me, I call them treasures. Right, let's go down to miscellaneous. And we'll sell. Steel ones. 
don't know why I've got a wooden ladle. <laughs> ladle, ee -oo. Right, well, that's got us back up to 500 gold. Do come back. <laughs> Do come back. All right, it's only for your sarcastic voice because I didn't spend any money. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days. I've got your back. Kind of looks like what she's wearing already, to be fair. I am at your command. And give. Yeah, she put that on, didn't she? I think. Uh, no, she's not wearing it. How come she's got two now? All oh, right. Have I done this earlier and just forgotten? <laughs> if I take... It doesn't say she's got it on, though, does it? Ah. But she seems to put that one on this time. Okay, that's worked. Let's get going then. You got some good pieces out here. Take a look. Nice. Don't forget to check inside. We need to do some of this stuff to get our blacksmithing up so we can do some blacksmith well, do the good blacksmithing later. Studded armor's 36. Leather armor starts at 41. It's a bit of a difference, isn't it? Why don't I have enough to do that? I don't have two leather. <laughs> I must have made too many straw. I have. I've made loads of strips, look. Have you met my fi The finest weapons and armor. Jesus Christ, how much do you charge for your leather? That's outrageous. Until next time. Right, let's make some leather armour. Let's get ourselves level up a bit. We're taking a bit of a hiding with that armour, to be fair. And that said, though, we've not... Hang on a sec. I haven't actually upgraded the armour I'm wearing, though, have we? Don't think I could, though, could I? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Requires six leather. I help my father in more ways than people realize. Yeah, we can't. You think all the council? We need to be higher up in order to upgrade it again. Huh. Let's just say I advise and leave it at that. Nice. So we need leather braces and leather helmet, really. Got run out of leather again. Hmm. Take a look. Don't 
Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Nearly there. Gonna need leather again, aren't I? God damn it. I don't looking to protect yourself or yes. Three leather to do a pair of boots. Fuck's sake. It was only one leather to do the whole body, wouldn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh no, it was three. That's why I ran out. Oh no, it just says requires leather. It doesn't say... Yeah, oh, right, okay. What I will lose, though, is my perk on health from the armour I'm wearing. Because the studded armour of health, yeah, <clears throat> increases your health by 30 points. It's not the end of the world, though, is it? Fair jump, like forty five from thirty six. So it's you know, nine, so nearly another ten for the armor. Not sure there is a is there a leather shield? No. There you go, that's what we look like now. Oh, that's interesting. I don't remember the leather armour being furry on the boots and stuff. I don't remember there being any fur on the leather armour. In fact, there's fur all around it. Nice. Don't remember that. Some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Nice. Sexy. I always forget how to do that. Right, we're good to go then. Not bad we outfit though. Looking pretty good. Yeah, they've changed it. They've changed that leather armour at some point. I remember it looking like that. Right. We need to go onward. Actually, one last thing before we go. Have you met my father? I need to sell you my old shares that I don't want anymore. Yeah, just sell it. Mind you, I could have collapsed it and got the increased health off it right now. Mm, if I have it already, I'm not sure if I do. Don't forget... How quick was that? Bit of a slow start to this one, people, but we'll get there. One of the new we've got our house sorted out. And we've got somewhere to put all our bones and stuffs. Uh, yes, that's right. I forgot why I came here then. Reached to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. 
Learned forty for nice. I knew it was going to be worth it. Level up. Thank you. Going to go health, I think. Now that we've lost that health perk, because we were up at like 160, weren't we? Now we've lost the armor with the health perk on it. Augmented flames requires 60 for the next one. So, let's have a look. Healing spells also restore stamina. Nice, 40. Need 40 for that. I can't remember what I was going for on this next one. <clears throat> can create steel armor and weapons at forges and improve them twice as much. The thing is, I want to stay light armor. Do each of these have a light option? I think elvish stuff might be light. I seem to recall that most of these were kind of heavies, but... What have we got with one-handed at the minute? 40 we need for that. Crikey, we've got 40 for everything at the minute. There's lock, well lockpick is an option but I've not really struggled with it too badly. Right, I don't know whether just to hang on to it then. I can't upgrade any of the stuff that I would want to at the minute. Pickpocket. Speech could be handy right enough. Buying and selling prices are 10% better, yeah. Haggling. Well, we could learn another form of magic, of course. I don't think I've ever used illusion before. I'm going to go with speech. Oh, that's one of five. So we can go up another 10% then. 10% prices with the opposite sex. <laughs> right, so let's get on. That's enough faffing around, Stephen. Let's get some action going. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. <laughs> right, let's go. Save and Riverwood. Destruction magic's fine. Just don't go burning down. In the field. You're new around here, so I'll go easy on you. But don't get on my bad side. The Sleeping Giant Inn. Nice loot playing, my friend. Aha. You're that Delphin the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. And is it your business to go thieverying things that I want? I'd like to rent a room. I'd like to rent the attic room. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room. But you can have the one on the left. Make yourself Give at home. Give me a mug of ale. Coming right up.
Here she comes. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. Follow me. A blade in the dark. <clears throat> Close the door. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. You're the one who took the horn. Surprised? I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. What's with all the cloak and dagger? You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. What do you want with me? I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Go on, I'm listening. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. Because <laughs> I haven't proven enough. How do I know I can trust you? If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. Not really, I'm badass. Why did you take the horn from Ustengrav? I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeards sent and not some Thalmor plant. Why are you looking for the Dragonborn? We remember what most don't. That the Dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Yes, that's how I first learned I was Dragonborn. Good. And you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. You said the Thalmor are after you. Yes. We're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be dragonborn. Is it, though? I'm failing to see your usefulness to me, but anyway. <laughs> so what's your part? So what's the part you're not telling me yet? Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. What makes you think dragons are coming back to life, apart from them flying in the sky? I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty, and I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. How did you figure all this out? You should know. You got the map for me from Bleak Falls Barrow. The Dragonstone was a map of ancient dragon burial sites. I've looked at which ones are now empty. The pattern is pretty clear. It seems to be spreading from the southeast, down in the Geralds near Riften. The one at Kynesgrove is next, if the pattern holds. So, where are we headed? Kynes Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Let's go kill a dragon! I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. Okay. Do you want me to turn around or...? This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. 
<laughs> nice. Hey, snap! Let's get on the road to Kynesgrove. Hey, we match. Look. Okay, Lydia, you're gonna have to move so that she can get out. And restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. Uh, oh, that's just. Oh, nice torch. Kynes Grove is this way. We can travel together or split up and meet there. Your choice. Well, oh, all right, you're going to run, are you? How far away is it? Oh, I know that's a diff that's a different quest. Hang on. We need to go to our quests, Stephen. What's happening? Just another blade in the dark. All right, we'll leave, leave returning the horn because I think he'll show us a few extra things at that point. So we're going to go and locate a dragon burial site. That's exactly what we're going to do. Wow. Kinsgrove, we can get most of the way there. And that's quite close to Windhelm as well. We can get to Hilgrun's tomb and then walk from there. Well, that looks like it's in a mountain right enough. Yeah, that's where we went across the, the log, isn't it? A few episodes back. Who are these people? Come along, no more stops. We need to find our way to solitude. Why are we even going to a wedding what at can this I do far flung you? end of the Empire anyway? I told you it's the wedding of Vittoria Vici, an extremely <sighs> well connected Speak to my husband. The, East the Emperor's cousin. Remember? Where is it on my compass, people? Right, it's over there. In her good graces, secure that import deal and lead the way to an audience with the Emperor. <laughs> the minute I crossed that bridge, I thought, I bet you it's not over here. This is Das. And how do we get there? Am I going to get swept over there if I go? A broken house there as well. The trees fell onto it and broken it. Look. How cool is that? I don't know why I would want it, but I'm taking it anyway.
Abandoned prison discovered. Well, we've got to have a look in now, haven't we? Blimey. What lurks in this place? Well, it looks like it's not going to be that big as it happens. I have actually been messing with the volume a little bit on the... on how much the game volume dips when I speak and stuff like that, so let me know if my changes are better or worse from previous episodes. I felt like the game volume was very... was very low in previous episodes when I spoke, especially. Listening to them back. So hopefully this is a bit better. We'll know better when the action kicks in, of course. That looks oily. I may well just start selling all the potions. Wow, check that out. Take Imperial Shield. Hey. Don't know why that Imperial Shield looks so unfamiliar to me. Read Guard's Orders. We can't let the prisoners out, so either kill them or let them down. Uh, let them drown. Either way, all guards must evacuate as soon as possible. The storm is about to wash this whole fort into the river, and I'll be damned if I have to report one legion death while under my watch. You have your orders. Nice of them to leave their coin behind. Why not? Let's take a quill. Good grief. No now. Turn the music up a little bit. Who dares disturb my Whoa, ghosts. Oh, ghosts. I'll do it. Ectoplasm, lovely. Hey, is it just me or is Lydia not with me? Where the hell did she go? I wonder if it's when I went across the water I lost her. Wow. 
Whoa. Where's that gonna go? Oh, it's just hidden. Something or other. Let's just have a look at these other ones first. Hmm. God damn it. Nice. Well, it wasn't the same as the last one, anyway. Son of a bitch! Now I wish I'd put my points in bloody lockpicking. You get decent points for doing these ones though, don't you? Blimey, where's the sweet spot for this? Aha. Oh, you fecker. How close was that? <laughs> I knew I'd gone the wrong way with it. Fuck it now, come on. Beer all bloody day, people. <laughs> it's literally horizontal, that thing there. It's no longer like. It's a mission more than it's anything else now, people. Thank you. Yeah, we're getting a lot pick and level up for every expert when I do at the minute, pretty much. Not even anything of interest in here, it's just for the level up. Oh, fucking hellfire. When did he get? He must be a uh, seriously bad one. Fucker. Don't believe it. To fear the dead. He took more health off me than I thought there. Fuck. Oh, god damn it. All that lockpicking again. Are you fucking kidding me? Why do I do it to myself every time I go into a building? I forget to do regular saves. Fucking hell, so much for our new armour. God damn it. Fucking hell, they just picked up the same stupid bowl they didn't want last time.
Maybe I'll do it in less... Lockpicks this time. Or maybe I won't. That's the power, yeah, that's the little hatch we're going to go down. Once we looked over this way. Ooh, key. Didn't get that last time. Uh, yeah, but now that I've got the key, it's not going to let me do the lock picking, is it? Oh, where did it put that then? Oh, yeah. Cannot drop. <laughs> so once you've picked up an item like that, you've got it forever. Brilliant. Well, that's just wasted a whole bunch of levelling up. It's a bit of shit, that, though, isn't it? It should give you the option if you want to use the key or pick the lock. Fucking believable. How on earth did he take all my health off there? Right, I'm not picking the key up this time. This has turned into hard work, people. Fucking hellfire. Truth be told, I thought, if I die, at least I can drop the key. <laughs> I didn't die on purpose, but I didn't save either. For the same reason. I think we'll save before going through that door, just in case it happens again and he kills us. I nearly had him there, to be fair. I think we can not pick the bowl up this time. Hey! Right, come on, you badgers. Where are you? Oh, the living shall feel again. No! Right, back to the joys of lock picking and leveling up. Uh, 
Right, we'll know where the sweet spot is, kind of. Come on. Fuck off. Look how close that is. Alright. Got a quick save right at the door now. Nothing to lose. Right, so if I'm backing up, I need to be going out here. the hell is he? Me! He's winding me up, people. Fucking health is taking off me. At least we don't have to go all the way back. Fucking outrageous. Oh, fuck. Fucked it up. That is fucking ridiculous. Imagine that on hard. Fucking hellfire. I realise I'm not using a shield, but my armour seems to be like fucking silk rather than leather. Also, where the fuck's Lydia? <laughs> fucking hell, it's outrageous. My new fucking nemesis, this guy. Shit, I've got stuck again. Waste a shit ton of potions on it. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell, we're out of magic. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? 
Jesus Christ. Got stuck in a fucking corner right enough. Thank the fucking Lord! Jesus. It doesn't even look like a boss or anything, just a guy. <laughs> Never been so happy to see the back of an enemy. He was harder than a fucking dragon, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think the spirit should be resurrecting people like him, not dragons. I didn't use many potions actually for, for that fight, which is good. Finally, when I finally did it. Read Song of Horm Hormir. Two handed increase, nice. Bloody master, wouldn't it be? Find the sweet spot, where is it? To the left, to the left, by a smidge. <laughs> Fucking hell, it's not much of a sweet spot, is it? Jesus. What's going on? It's a harsh sweet spot, this. Really harsh. You bastard. For 63 gold, really? <laughs> Fucking hell. A master chest for all that. Oh, find Red Eagle's sword. Nice, got a quest out of that book. Jesus Christ, we're over an hour, people. I feel like I've hardly done anything. That's probably because I haven't. Because I kept dying. I'm now completely obsessed with every book ever. Because it might have a quest in it. Normally, I would only read ones that are like 50 gold or something in value, because that's the ones that you learn magics from. 
Right, that's the chest we got. This is where we beat the guy. Just need to go back, I think, now, and down the little hole. Let's go down the little hole that we were curious about. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, that's the room. It's fine. <laughs> and more to unlock people. You yeah, can never have too many. Why are they all expert as well? It's winding me up. It's an outrageous amount of increases to lockpicking though, isn't it? When you're getting one per door. Well worth doing. So obsessed with that bloody guy that I forgot to search that chest this time. This is possibly the way we came in. <laughs> A little shortcut back to where we started. Oh, it's a different way up. Wow. Well, uh, who's that? All right, hand over your valuables, or I will gut you like a fish. No. Walk away right now. Do I look like I have any money? <laughs> Walk away right now. Nice try, but you do not scare me. I am not going to ask again. Lydia's on it. Hey, Lydia got a staff outlook. Nice. Yeah, well, his armor's not as good as mine, is it? I've upgraded mine. Magehood. Right, well that was a bit of a ugly episode so far as I kept dying, but plenty of repetitive action. <laughs> right, where are we? And what were we doing before we were rudely interrupted? We're heading down there, aren't we? I love that. I love seeing the animals swimming in the water and stuff, or... Just living out their lives. Wolves! There's a cave about. Oh, 
What's that place then? It's undiscovered. Undiscovered. Hmm. Can I find a way down without killing myself, do you think? Water Mill. Which means we are not too far from where we're going, I don't think. Or at least we've got somewhere to teleport back to. We're halfway there, in the words of Bon Jovi. Nearly. Probably a third, to be fair. Gone a bit jittery, the old uh, uncap. It seems to depend on the time of day as to how smooth it is, and then also how much sort of fogs in the air and stuff like that. Holy fuck. Tiger! Ooh, in the mouth. Leather off of that though. I feel like I'm on the wrong side of the river. going up with there as well. And there's a castle or something up there. Let's go and have a look. A ruin of some description. I just saw it glinting at the, the peak of the hill. Or at least I thought I did. Huh? Well, that's weird. Oh, there it's there. That must have been what I saw there. Yeah, I've not been not been a hugely impressed with the uncap on this particular episode. I don't know if it's just a bit buggy as to how well it runs or whether it's the... Because I've been in a snowy environment like this before and it was fine. So I don't know why it's suddenly having a problem. See there, now it's suddenly gone alright. Gallows Rock Discovered. Well, come here. oh fuck, <laughs> instigated a fight. I 
I mean, I keep playing like this. I'm going to have literally no... <laughs> can read that, can't I? I'm going to have nothing good going on with my right hand if I keep just using my left hand for magics. A silver sword. Effective against the undead. Oh, well, yeah, but that might have come in handy in that bloody place, mightn't it? You're killing people, idiot. Ah, oh, she did as well. wonder if I should give Lydia a silver sword. She might use it in a... Certain instances where we've got that type of enemy. Well, that was the mystery that was Gallows Rock, whatever it's called. <laughs> was there another way in to go down? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be, does it? That was all it were, people. That is all it were. There's a camp down here, though. Oh, there is. Here we go. Gallows Rock. Right, well, that is an ideal place to wrap it up, people. So we shall go into Gallows Rock in the next part and investigate that, and then hopefully we'll get to fight a dragon as well if we manage to get that far. I'm kind of just drifting off now to whatever I see or discover. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you on Skyrim on the Xbox Series X, and I shall see you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.